give you one. It's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome to Ask Think for Monday, March 16th, 2015. And uh, let's get right into it. Last week, I asked you guys what you would do as soon as it got warmer and turned spring, because it's kind of getting that way here a little bit. But uh, we did have a couple of warm days, and I wanted to know what was the first thing you guys would do when it got warmer and we start with buddy hundred who says open a lemonade stand making some extra cash good thinking <laughs> you're definitely gonna do well in business we've got tunji thomas white who says during the spring i have to pick up the dog poo because my neighbor doesn't pick it up and i want to play outside without stepping in poo so it's kind of like bittersweet like <laughs> the warm weather's here but then you gotta pick up poo so not so nice um Wanted to flee says when it turns warmer, hopefully I will spend the whole day on his new 12 foot trampoline they got for free from their neighbor. Trampolines are the funnest thing in the world, loves them so much and man, I remember when I was younger and the kids who had the, well, I, I, I don't know about a 12 foot trampoline, but I remember the 14 foot trampoline and it, it was never, you would never say someone like, you would never say, oh, you know, uh, Kelly has a, a, a trampoline in our backyard. You'd never say that. You would say, Kelly has a 14-foot trampoline in her backyard. And everyone's like, ooh. So you're going to be really popular. <laughs> I can tell you right now. Man, oh, I would love to have a huge trampoline like that. Rackers4 says, I want to go to Branson because they have go-karts, a theme park, and a bunch of zip lines. And there's a show about a show down there. That sounds really, really fun. Um, I love go-karts. Madison Frank says, for the question of the week, when spring finally comes and finally gets warm, the first thing I'm going to do is call up my friends and go biking together. I haven't been biking in a really long time, and I'll tell you guys a secret. Things wife doesn't know. Wow. <laughs> she really doesn't, so I don't go very often. And also in Manhattan, it's actually really dangerous to go biking. It's just so many cars and stuff, so... Anyway, Mr. Enderman 2012 says, the first thing I want to do in spring is run up to the ice cream man and scream, feed me, feed me now. <laughs> and I can just imagine like your, your avatar is perfect for this comment. I can just see you with your arms in the air like a pop tart saying, feed me now. India Colston says, when it gets hot again, I can't wait to pee. I mean, swim in the pool. Nice, nice. Purple Tortle says, when it gets warmer, I'm going to take my puppy on her first walk. She always messes around with my big dog, but she's never had a real walk. I can't wait, and neither can she. Pink Diamond says, believe it or not, during spring and warm weather, I like to garden. Planting flowers and stuff, it's actually pretty fun because you have an excuse to play with dirt. I also love swimming in warm weather. And uh, my sister, whenever it gets to be you know, warm enough, although um, now she lives in a <laughs> in a sunny climate in California so it's always warm enough but she, whenever spring would come around she would always uh, start gardening Minecraft dude 08 says southern hemisphere guy <laughs> you are like the only one uh, maybe there was like one or two more but anyway if it finally gets cold I'm gonna be like what took you so long cold weather I've been boiled simmered fried and roasted to deliciousness <laughs> And I'm going to go around my house shouting, it's the cold season. Oh my gosh, I'm cray cray. I've had enough now. Bye. Slimy Hop Studio says, when it finally gets hot, I'm going to go outside and wear 10 jackets and stand next to a barbecue and get more hot. And then I will turn into a blaze <laughs> and eat noodles. <laughs> that sounds dangerous. Mariah Mancuso says, I'm going to run outside in my bathing suit and yell team napkins. And I have no idea what that means. Now, when it becomes a spring for me, one of the things that happens when it gets warmer in New York is, and someone sort of already said it, the ice cream man comes out and he's not on like every street corner, but like Every like five or 10 blocks, you'll run across a Mr. Softy. And so once it's warm enough and they start coming back out, cause I haven't seen them in a really long time cause nobody wants ice cream outside right now. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is go run up to the ice cream truck and get a big like vanilla cone with sprinkles on it. And then I'm gonna eat it down, you know, like lick all the sprinkles off and then let Kopi have a big bite. 
<laughs> she loves ice cream. <laughs> now for next week's question. It comes to us from Nova Cat and it asks, so what songs do you sing in the shower? Everyone does it. Don't lie. <laughs> so guys, go ahead and post in the comments below what you sing in the shower. Um, I don't know. And I was going to say, and why? If there is an and why, go ahead and add it. If there isn't, you know, because a lot of times it'll just be because I sound good or because I think I sound good or because it's my favorite song. So you don't really have to put that. But if it's an interesting and why, please go ahead and put that. Now, before we get to the questions for me, don't forget to leave your question in the comments below so I can have something to answer next week. Remember, only one question per comment, but you can leave as many comments as you like. Also, if the comments on this Ask Think are closed, go to the most recent Ask Think and ask your question there. And there's also a little bit extra that I'll, I'll talk about in a couple of questions about what I want you guys to ask in the comments below. It's kind of special this week. So we're going to start with Zoe Gappa and she says, how can you go that far and think Pi Day is about the life of Pi? Was that really the first thing you thought of when you hear Pi Day? No, not at all. In fact, when I hear Pi Day, I think 3.14159. But uh, someone had posted on Twitter said, oh, you should do Pi Day. I'm like, ah, that's a good idea. I could do something like that. And they're like, you should make a life of Pi. And I was like, dude, I never would have thought of that. So um, <laughs> yeah, it, it actually came from someone on Twitter. And of course, you know, I had to make the whole episode <laughs> that way uh, and, and have Dave do the Pi symbol at the end. It was actually, <laughs> I got all the way to the end of that episode. And then I was doing, uh, I'd already recorded and everything. And then I was um, doing the uh, the text for Dave. And I was like, oh my goodness, is there, is this font, this Minecraft font going to have the pie symbol? Because if not, it's going to look bad. But it did. So it was fine. <laughs> now a couple of people ask, what do I think of the new MacBook? And well, for me, uh, it's really, I mean, I, I obviously I haven't played with it yet, but it looks really thin, looks great for travel, might be good for my wife because she brings it back and forth to work and her MacBook Air is it's getting a little old. I mean, she's had it two and a half years, like it's not that old. But if she needs a new one, that might be what we get. Now for me, no, absolutely not. I need this big screen that I'm tapping right here on my iMac is good enough for now. Um, and uh, I, I think that that thing is far underpowered for my needs but it looks like an awesome computer. So Monica Monet says, think noodles, can you come to Thailand? And yes, I've been before. And yes, I'm coming again. Um, I'm going on vacation to Thailand with my wife in two weeks, guys, a little less than two weeks. And I'm really, really like last night, I, uh, I wrote down everything, like my schedule videos that I had recorded. And I've got like, 40 videos to record in like 10 days. That's going to be tough because eight of those are Think, Think Slab videos and each of those take me a day. So I, I really don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it though, but don't worry. So that's where this special part comes in. One, uh, and I, and I, you, we do this, I think every time we go on vacation, but uh, one of the Ask Thinks while I'm on vacation is going to be Ask Think and Think's wife. So in this week's comments, so that I can record it in advance, please leave questions for me and questions for my wife. And she'll answer them probably not on the next Ask Think, but the one after that. Carrie Ann Manlove asks, what happened to guessing the likes? It was really fun. Well, here's the thing. Uh, when Google or YouTube changed the comments to Google Plus uh, instead of the YouTube specific comments, they all started disappearing and being marked as spam and not only just marked as spam, just gone. And it got to the point where people were guessing the likes and <laughs> they weren't even close because I would only have like, instead of like maybe a thousand comments on the like number, the like count, there were about 40. I mean, that's how far, because people would just post the comment, they would post the number and Google would, or YouTube would say, ah, that's spam. And they would just dump it. And so uh, there was really nothing to really choose from. I know it was fun, but it kind of got ruined. Craft Spiral says, what made you want to be a family friendly channel? I'm glad you are. Well, you know, I started this journey. Um, whew, goodness gracious. 2000, so eight years ago 
with websites. And all of my websites were family friendly because they were centered around children's games and um, online games. And I wanted it to be a family friendly place. And uh, a lot of the people that I was working with were um, stay at home moms or other parents who wanted safe places for their own children. So I kind of took their values on as my own. And when I started YouTube, I kept those values because I believe in them. Adam Wallace asks, would you ever start up a Patreon campaign or any type of crowdfunding services so noodlers like me can support you and get amazing rewards? Thanks for making videos. I don't know about Patreon. Um, I do have this thing on YouTube that you can, if you go to my channel page, you can see it. It says support, think noodles, donate now, that sort of thing. But as far as Patreon, I, I you know, a lot of you guys are young and everything and um, don't have a lot of money. And I would feel really um, like I'm taking advantage of you guys by by asking and or, or saying like, you know, if you give me um, fifty dollars, um, you know, I'll 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 write your name on a you know on a, on a sign, you know, for things like that in return for money, or I'll hang out with you on on a private server if you pay me a hundred dollars and things like that. I I think that's really that would be really unfair to those of you guys who can't afford it, who are younger, things like that. Um, so yeah, I, I, you know, I, I would love to offer that and, and give you guys the opportunity to support me in that way. I just don't think it'd be fair. Gordon Korek says, think, when are you going to make a schedule for when you play Sims 4? I love that series so far. Well, thank you. It's going over surprisingly well because I'm surprisingly bad at the game, but, uh, it's every Thursday right now um just once a week uh but it might seem like further space apart because you know a lot of my series i do twice a week but yeah it's once a week kopi the kitten asks is scuba diving scary i've always wanted to do it and i think i'm old enough but i always have a fear of things eating me i blame jaws well i mean you're kopi the kitten kopi is a fluffy dog and then you turn it into a kitten things probably want to bite you you're all fluffy and tasty uh, no, really, honestly, nothing's going to bite you. <laughs> I mean, I have been diving longer than probably, let me see, yeah, definitely. I would say I have been scuba diving longer than any of you watching this channel have been alive. Uh, well, okay, there are a few, but I'd say nine, more than 90% of you have been alive. Um, I've never been bitten by anything. Um, I mean, like, maybe like stung by jellyfish yeah okay that's happened before um but but you know anything that could really really harm me no um it it's very 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 rare so uh if you always wanted to do it definitely give it a try nova cat asks do you think you've become really efficient at editing no <laughs> uh, well it, that it's kind of and kind of not um, I had, I, if I were just to do a simple, quick edit, um, like on the noodle planet, you know, a lot of times, uh, there are some, well, not a lot of times, but sometimes I'll record straight through and yes, I can edit those very, very quickly. Just crop, crop the ends, you know, do the opacity, drop the screenshot in and done. Uh, it's, you know, a screenshot, uh, for, for the fan art. Um, so yeah, I mean, those types of things. Yes, I'm very efficient at that. The thing is, I've gotten good at editing, which becomes a problem. So things like ThinkSlab, I spend longer and longer and longer editing. Not every time, but I just do. I mean, I spend so much time editing because I've gotten good at it. I know a lot of tricks and those tricks are really, really labor intensive and I just keep doing them. So yes, I've become more efficient, but I pile on more work because I've become more efficient and better at it. Jclose asks, think what happens when you run out of mods for ThinkSlab? Well, see, that's the thing. That'll never happen. Um, like the most recent um, episode uh, for, for Pi Day, um, I used a bunch of different mods. I used Oceancraft, I used Dr. Zark's Mode Creatures, I used uh, the Morph mod, I used Cam Studio, I use Freeze Cam. I, what else did I use? Um, custom NPCs. I used the Think Noodles mod. Um, you know, I used all of these mods, and these are mods that I probably 
used in previous Things Labs. But I knew what I wanted to do. I knew the story I wanted to tell. And it didn't matter, uh, you know, I just grabbed the mods I needed to achieve it. So that's never gonna happen because a lot of times Things Lab is just about a story and then I grab mods that can um, sort of complement the story. It's Dubstep Biscuit says, Hey Think, I wanted to ask, how many phones have you ever had in your life, not including home phones? And this was an interesting question because I actually have to think about that. So. I had a, when I was in college, I had a Nokia, then a StarTac, then a digital StarTac, then that digital V phone. And then after that, I, what did I get after that? I think I got that, oh yeah, I had that Ericsson, Sony Ericsson phone. Then iPhone, oh, well, the original iPhone, then iPhone 3G, 3GS, 4, 4S. 5, 5S, and 6. So, um, 13? Jeez. The Minicraft asks, think, would you be able to function without your phone for one day? Yeah, definitely. Uh, not so much when I'm working and doing YouTube stuff. That would uh, be very, very tough. But whenever I go on vacation, my wife and I really don't pay much attention to our phones at all. We, a lot of times, just... Leave them in the hotel room. Minion Master asks, why are minions yellow? And first of all, you should know you're the master of all the minions, but it's because of their diet and all the bananas that they eat. Ninkobi Gaming asks a question that I saw a lot on Twitter, and um, I'm trying not to look at all of the questions because people put spoilers in them, but this one didn't have a spoiler, so. It says, hey, Pink, what do you think about Gravity Falls Season 2, Episode 11, last Monday night on Disney XD? And I haven't watched it yet. It's sitting on my TiVo waiting. Um, but a lot, a lot, a lot of people ask me about it. And I kind of know what happens because I saw some of the spoilers. But I kind of don't. So um, I can't tell you what I think about it. But I know that a lot of people think it was pretty crazy. Caleb Coach asks... I really like your Think Slab shorts with the minion challenge and the speed edit. Can you please do more videos like these? I would really be awesome. Well, yes, um, you know, those are kind of rare. Um, I, I don't want to do them all the time because people get used to them. And then some people, I mean, uh, so with the minion challenge, got a lot of dislikes on it because people are like, hey, you didn't name the newest minion. And I was like, but that wasn't a Think Slab. It was just a thing, just a fun thing that I decided to do today, you know? And then with the speed edit one, um, people didn't really understand what it was. So like I got a few dislikes and some comments were like, that video was terrible. Like all you did was like talk for the first minute and a half and the rest was just music. Like, dude, that was awful. And they didn't quite understand is that's what it was. And if you didn't want to watch a speed edit, then you know, there's other stuff. But anyway, I'm, I will definitely do both of those again. Um, but only for special occasions, really. Danielle Beta says, Do you think that it makes more sense if Legend of Zelda was called Legend of Link? I mean, Mario's games aren't called Peach. Both games kind of have the same meaning. And you're right. I mean, Mario goes and saves Princess Peach, so, but it's called, you know, Mario. But <laughs> but with, uh, with, with Legend of Zelda, you know, Link goes and saves Zelda, yet it's called Legend of Zelda. And you're, you're absolutely right. I have no answer for that. But it's funny because some people actually think Link's name is Zelda. Silver Dennis says, I remember you saying your wife had a lot of internet stuff under the name Think's Wife. Does she have a YouTube channel? Yes, we do have the youtube.com slash user slash Think's Wife. Um, but it's funny because if I don't log into it and, and she had it before and she had like a thousand subscribers, never had a, never uploaded a video. And then, you know, I, we didn't log into it or anything and YouTube deleted it. And then I, <laughs> it's so annoying. I think they've deleted it twice on us now. Uh, and now I think she's got like 720 subscribers back again, but sh she doesn't have any videos still, but uh, we should probably put something on there, like maybe a Kopi video or something just to, as a placeholder so YouTube doesn't delete it. Puff Cupcakes asks, do you get all the emails saying that you got a new subscriber, a new noodler? <laughs> if it be so, do you think it's annoying? No, I, I do not. Uh, I, I took those notifications off ages ago um because you know while 
while uh, my subscriber, depending on if it's a weekday or a weekend, but you know, my subscriber count grows by maybe a thousand to fifteen hundred a day, maybe two thousand to two two thousand five hundred on weekends. Um, I also lose about a thousand subscribers a day. So what that means is that each day, you know, between two thousand and three thousand new subscribers are subscribing every day. There's you know new noodlers every day, like two to three thousand. I'd get two to three thousand emails every day. Uh, no, I'm not into that. <laughs> Sid's gaming channel asks, think you like to read if you do what types of books? I do. I don't have enough time to read uh, when I'm you know, working here on YouTube. But when I go on vacation, I read a lot. I have a Kindle, um, not a Kindle Fire, Kindle Paperwhite. And I love it. Uh, the books I tend to read are dystopian. Uh, I like, you know, like this, like um, Hunger Games. Um, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, Divergent. Um, uh, there's another one. Oh, gosh, the, the author's last name is I think Wu. Oh gosh. Oh, I can't think of it right now. I think it's being made into a movie. Legend, I think it is. Yeah. And um, and then oh, I've been I've read almost the full um, the full Ender. Uh, I don't know how many books are there. Five, I think. Um, but yeah, all of those types of books I really really like. Kit Kat. 650 asks, Hey, think when I try to put your channel on featured channels, it'll only put your fake channel. How do you fix this? Well, first of all, thank you so much for putting in your featured channels. I really do appreciate it. I'm flattered. Uh, but what you need to do is put my actual channel URL, which is Insiders Network, and it'll put the right channel. Sir Coffee says, I know you love kids, but are you ever going to have one? Please adopt me. <laughs> and I saw later on that he commented, in response to someone else's comments that yes, he still loves his family very, very much. He's very happy. He was just kidding. But uh, yeah, I, we will. Um, it's just a matter of my wife's job, uh, putting her in the right place and also us not living in a tiny one bedroom apartment. Sarah Jeremiahson asks, how long have you and your wife been married? And when did you get Kobe? Uh, my wife and I have been married for five years now. And we've had Kopi for a little over eight years. Gigi Tacos asks, think I have a question. I know I'm usually a fun, quirky person, but I have a feeling that when you say thanks to us, I just feel that since I've been here for not such a long time, sometimes I feel like I haven't done much. Like, boop, just click the subscribe button. I'm not sure if anyone else feels it, but I do. Am I just crazy or am I just clicking a sub box and watching videos? Well, no, I mean, I really do mean it. Sincere, sincerely, thank you to each and every one of you guys. And you guys do more than that. You really do. I mean, I, I recognize your username. I've seen you commenting on my videos, interacting with me, interacting with other subscribers, you know, other people talk on Twitter. Uh, you tell your friends about me, things like that. Those, I can't thank you guys enough for that. And uh, while you guys might think, oh, all I do is watch his videos and I'm not really, <laughs> I don't really deserve any thanks. You guys really, really do. GamerProX asks, when is the Think Noodles mod coming out? Um, it's going to be a little while. Uh, not, not terribly long, but um, there's still a few bugs that we, well, that I basically, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the tester, right? Um, but uh, there, there's a few bugs that I haven't discovered yet that I'm sure I'm going to find. Um, and there's a couple I have found that we're fixing. Um, but uh, there are a few plot developments that have to happen in Things Lab first before I can release the mod. Hint, hint. <laughs> the Cheese Overlord says, because YouTube deletes comments, why don't you just make a Think Noodle subreddit? You can ask for questions and even the in-game names. That's not a bad idea for the IGNs, um, but uh, here's the thing, um, and, and, and actually even for the IGNs it's tough. Uh, so people are always on Twitter, always, and, so, and they can set notifications and things for when I ask, and then they can answer right away. Um, putting it on a subreddit, people have to check in, they have to think about it, um, that doesn't work that well. And then also for um, ask think questions. Not really that great because people actually have to sign up for a Reddit account and they may have already had a really hard time getting their parents to let them sign up for a YouTube account and then a subreddit or then a Reddit account so they can post on the subreddit. 
Uh, it's, it's, it's really, really tough. My good suggestion. Crazy Fingers JG says, hey, Justin, what is Kopi's favorite toy? Uh, she, it depends on the day. Actually, her, Kopi's favorite toy is always her newest toy. Uh, it's really funny. She has so many toys too. She doesn't really break them. Um, we, we always have to throw them out because she never breaks them and they just get too many. Uh, but yeah, whatever her newest toy is, is her favorite. And she'll carry it around with her all over the place for like the first four days. Ice Cream 101 says, think, how do you fly in Bat Morphin Crazy Craft? I just got it. Uh, if you haven't killed uh, the Kraken in Crazy Craft and you have the default uh, morph configuration, you're not going to be able to fly in the Bat Morph. You actually have to kill the Kraken first. Perla Perez says, hey, think, I was always wondering, how do you make Kevin and Dave talk like in One Thing's Lab? Kevin said, McFlurry, McFlurry, how did you make him talk? Well, that's my voice, and then um, I, I modify the pitch and tempo. So um, so I would just say into the microphone, my burry, my burry, my burry, like that. And then I would um, <laughs> work with the voice modulation to make it sound like Kevin. Sierra Flynn says, I think it's the minion generator, modded or redstone? Um, it's redstone with command blocks. It's I guess technically vanilla. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it is. I was going to, it's not technically vanilla. It actually is vanilla. Clemson Magic says, Mr. Think, can you please tell us the sources you use to make that water drop under the bridge, how you got the water to stop and flow down? Uh, it's, it's in my survive. It's in one of the Noodle Planet episodes. Um, I don't recall the episode number, but the title of it is Water Magic or something along those lines. Something like that. I think it's, I, I'm pretty sure it's called Water Magic. If you watch that episode, you'll see that the way that I do it is uh, with dirt um, surrounding um, ice and with torches. That's all you really need. You just have to be careful. GSS Star asks, what would you do if you ever strayed too far away from the Noodle Planet and could never find your way back? Pretty much lost it and everything you had ever built there. I can't imagine a reaction if that ever happened. Well, if it were really to happen, I would cry. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of like what happened when my storage room got blocked off because of a chunk error. I, I it was really, really, really depressing. But um, that would never happen because I have seen the coordinates where <laughs> the Noodle Planet is, like the center of the Noodle Planet, uh, so many times that I have them like drilled into my head. I know exactly where they are. The next person says, hey, think, I think you should not put Think Slab thumbnail on the camping trip because it's just before the first Think Slab episode. To me, it might make more sense. Well, no, it actually is the first episode in the Think Slab series. I mean, it's the first mod that I used in it. And you actually, if you watch all the way to the end, we come right up to the edge of the lab. So technically it is. We just didn't get to go inside. Jonathan Lutz says, hey, think in Things Lab, how do you get Kevin and Dave to move to the spots you want? Do you move them yourself or just program them that way? Thanks, you're the best person ever. Aw. Well, uh, it depends. I mean, uh, I, most of the time I use custom NPCs, and a lot of times I just have them follow me, and I know that if I'm running and I turn around, they're going to be right behind me. That's just the way that custom NPCs works, and I've gotten used to it. Uh, other times when I want them to stand like where um, where they are at the, at the beginning of Things Lab, uh, in the entryway and in the, in, the, in the lobby of Things Lab, uh, that's also custom NPCs, and I create them on that spot and kind of just tell them stay. Eight minutes ago, Eric F said, "I'm watching this in 1995." <laughs> no, you're not, Eric. The eight minutes ago totally gave it away. All right, guys, that's it for this episode of Ask Think. Don't forget to leave your question in the comments below so I can have something to answer next week. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. And of course, new line.